Hey everybody, Greg Rice here in the Bucket, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And the question we get often is, hey guys, do I need to pull a building permit? Do I need to apply with the city or town for this work that I'm doing? So in the video, I want to tell you when you have to pull this permit and also why. Why do you have to pull a permit? So when do you have to pull a permit? And I'm going to talk straight from the city of Pawtucket's website. Okay, this is a uh, FAQ that they have up there, and it's obviously specific to Pawtucket, but it's, it's universal in nature, meaning wherever you are in the country, um, you probably have a similar style uh, structure and, and qualification. So it says, ordinary repairs to buildings can be made without application or notification to the building official, but the repairs shall not include the following. Number one, installation of any siding on the property. Now you're replacing one or two that are loose, no problem. But if you're wrapping the entire property, definitely need a permit. Second thing, cutting away of any wall, partition, or portion of a wall. You're changing the structure, you're opening up a space, a kitchen for example, that open floor layout that you see on HGTV. It's always funny, they're like, yeah, we're gonna knock down this wall, we're gonna put a steel beam, and we'll be right back after the commercial break, it'll be all set. Um, so I think a lot of people think that they can knock walls down, um, open spaces up, but they don't understand that some of these walls are load bearing, so that's why you need a permit. Next is the removal or cutting away of any structural beam or bearing support. So if you're in the basement and you're like, I don't like this huge wooden beam in the center of the room. I'm going to cut it. Definitely need a permit for that. The removal or change of any required, required means of egress. So most properties, the multis that we deal with have a front and a back entrance. And if you, for example, are like, oh, I'm going to get rid of this back entrance and make it a bathroom. Definitely need to tell the city and it's likely definitely not going to be approved. Uh, next one up is rearrangement of parts of a structure affecting the exit way requirements. Same thing. If you're like, oh, these stairs are way too big. Um, you know, I'd like to make them smaller so I can have a bigger closet. You know, not going to fly most likely. Alteration of, replacement of, or relocation of any standard pipe. Water supply, sewer, drainage, drain leader gas, soil, waste, vent, or similar piping. So again, if you're down in the basement and the sewer pipe is running across the center of the basement and you're like, oh, it'd be nice if we could tie it to the wall instead to keep it out of the way. If you're rearranging those pipes, you need the permit. If you're repairing the pipe, right? So say the, the cast iron, sometimes the bell will crack and leak. If you're replacing that with PVC, that's a simple repair. You're not moving the pipes, you're keeping everything intact. So that's probably how you would draw the line there. Um, electrical wiring is the next one on the list. Always, always need a permit. Uh, recently up in Woonsocket, I was changing electrical outlets and the building official came in and he goes, oh, you need to pull a permit to change the electrical outlets. And I was like totally blown away. Like these outlets, it takes two seconds, I'm replacing, I'm not adding, I'm not running new wire. Um, but he's like, oh no, we need to know virtually everything that happens with electrical because of the safety, you know, and the risks that come with it. So that's definitely a big one. And the last one on the list is mechanical or other work which affects public health, safety or welfare, and all work not classified as ordinary repair shall comply with the rules and regs or ordinances of the municipality as to procurement of the permit. So pretty much saying like if you're doing anything that could potentially affect yourself or others, you need a permit. So they, they really kind of use that catch-all at the end to ensure that you're properly filing. Now, the question of why is, is what I'm leading up to now. Why do we need these permits? What they're going to tell you is we need to make sure Okay, we need to make sure that you're doing the work in a workmanship-like manner, that it's safe, and that you're also following the applicable building codes, zoning code, for example. 
So they want to make sure that you're within line and you're also being safe. But the second portion is mula. Okay, the state, the city, whatever you're dealing with, they make money every time you file for a permit. It's not a lot. Maybe it's 100 bucks, 50 bucks, but you multiply that by tens of thousands of people, typically in a city, and it adds up. And also, when it comes time to reassess your property for taxes, they're gonna look at and see what improvements were done. So that's another thing is you're gonna pay higher taxes because they're like, oh, upgraded the sewer, upgraded the electrical, replaced the roof, put new siding. It's a way for them to keep track so that they don't lose out on any potential tax revenue. So it's twofold, safety and money, all right? So once again, Greg Rice, here in the bucket, your property and your permit managed.